I was part of the civic participation and engagement uh, roundtable. Um, we talked about um, what we understood by civic participation and went on to talk about examples of projects. I personally shared the projects that I've been involved in in Ghana, including Ghana Decides and Bar Camps. And then we moved on to the role of research in the civic participation process. How do we understand? Um, how do we understand uh, some of the things that have been talked about? Uh, one of the key highlights was measurement of impacts and uh, also how to sustain the project and to ensure that um, th there's value in what we've done. I really enjoyed um, the session because uh, a lot of talk uh, was around uh, what we understand by civic participation and um, even when you talk about youth and young people, uh, we need to like focus exactly on what age ranges we are dealing with. And uh, one thing that really struck me was the issue of um, people being marginalized. You know, we are talking about youth, but then often we end up dealing with a group of youth who are already, already privileged. So there are more issues about bringing more of the unrepresented youth voices online. I'd be interested in um, some of the initiatives we've done in the past. Uh, we uh, we seriously have to think of uh, ways of um, sustaining uh, the initiatives. In terms of civic engagement, a lot of talk was about the role of um, the young people in public affairs, um, mainly talking about political issues, but then I think we can transfer the same energy into other areas of um, endeavor. So we'll look at more areas of application. Thank you.